Hi guys, welcome to another amazing video. Nature is one of the most mysterious and beautiful part of our planet. Natural phenomenon like rain and wind are the reason for the existence of our life on Earth. We need to protect nature in order to sustain a healthy world. Nature also creates some strange and rare phenomena on certain parts of the world. Let's look at 10 rarest and most beautiful natural phenomenons. Number 10. Glowing Ocean, there will be no one in the world who have not seen a ocean, about 71% of the earth is covered by ocean, but certain part of the ocean beaches glows due to a rare phenomenon. Milky Seas, also called Mareel, is a luminous phenomenon in the ocean in which large areas of seawater glow translucently in varying shades of blue. It is most likely caused by bioluminescence. As night falls on certain beaches around the world, the waves glow with an eerie blue light. Tiny, neon dots that make it look as though stars are washing up on shore. The surreal scene arises not from magic, but from plankton that have evolved to glow in order to startle or distract fish and other potential predators, by lighting up. The plankton draw even larger predators that, in turn, eat the animal threatening them. Milky seas are most common to the northwest Indian web ocean and the waters around Indonesia. Number 9. Turquoise Ice Laka Baikal, when you think of perfect winter and early spring vacation destinations, Siberia is probably not what comes to mind, but it should. Lake Baikal is a game-changer, luring tourists away from balmy tropical beaches to marvel at its bright ice formations that gleam like tanzanite in the sun. It looks like it's filled with precious gemstones. March is the ideal month to visit. Temperature in March hover around 16 degrees, a pleasant break from the below zero temperatures of earlier winter months. During the summer months, the hummocks vanish altogether as the lake ice melts. Number 8. Lenticular clouds. Clouds are very common right, but some clouds become rare because they stay stationary. They are often comparable in appearance to a lens or saucer. As air travels along the surface of the earth, obstructions are often encountered. These disrupt the flow of air into eddies or areas of turbulence influenced by these obstructions. When moist, stable air flows over a larger eddy, such as those caused by mountains, a series of large-scale standing waves form on the leeward side of the mountain. If the temperature at the crest of the wave drops below the local dew point, moisture in the air may condense to form lenticular clouds. Bright colors are sometimes seen along the edge of lenticular cloud shapes. Number 7. Fog domes. As you might see it shows a huge dome of fog. Warm water, perhaps in a lake, warms the air above it which rise due to convection as it is winter, the air around it is cold, the moisture-laden warm air cools as it goes up, and the water condenses to form fog. When it cools enough it stops rising, and the rising air beneath it pushes it to the side. It flows down to the sides creating the dome. It is a very beautiful and a rare phenomenon, it was spotted in Denbyshire Northeast Wales, Frozen Lake in Colorado and Antarctica etc. Number 6. The Storm. Venezuela One of the natural phenomena that scares us is the lightning, Catatumbo lightning is an atmospheric phenomenon that occurs over the mouth of the Catatumbo River, where it empties into Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela. It originates from a mass of storm clouds at an altitude of more than 1 km, and occurs during 140 to 160 nights a year, 9 hours per day, and from 16 to 40 times per minute. In 1991, Russian researcher Andrei Zavrotsky suggested that the phenomenon occurred due to cold and warm air currents meeting around the area. Using satellite data, two groups of researchers have provided analyses of the lightning's location, timing and number of discharges per square kilometer. Number 5. Fire Whirl. You must have heard of cyclone but in some condition cyclones get combined with fire as called a fire whirl, also commonly known as a fire devil, or, as a fire tornado, fire nado, fire swirl, or fire twister, is a whirlwind induced by a fire and often composed of flame or ash. These start with a whirl of wind, often made visible by smoke, and may occur when intense rising heat and turbulent wind conditions combine to form whirling eddies of air. A fire whirl consists of a burning core and a rotating pocket of air. A fire whirl can reach up to 1090 degrees Celsius. Even bonfires often have whirls on a smaller scale and tiny fire whirls have been generated by very small fires in laboratories. They are usually 10 to 50 meters tall, a few meters wide, and last only a few minutes. 
They can result in cumulonimbus flammage nitu spawning landspouts and waterspouts or even to develop mesoeclone-like updraft rotation of the plume itself or of the cumulonimbi, which can spawn tornadoes similar to those in supercells. Pyrocumulonimbi generated by large fires on rare occasions also develops in a similar way. Fire whirls have also been observed to form over water, burning with a blue flame indicating soot-free combustion, described as a flammage mitus. Number 4. Volcanic lightning. This is a very rare phenomenon as the volcanoes are also rare. Volcanic lightning is an electrical discharge caused by a volcanic eruption, rather than from an ordinary thunderstorm. Volcanic lightning arises from colliding, fragmenting particles of volcanic ash and sometimes ice, which generate static electricity within the volcanic plume. Moist convection and ice formation also drive the eruption plume dynamics and can trigger volcanic lightning. The first studies of volcanic lightning were also conducted at Mount Vesuvius by Professor Palmieri, who observed the eruptions of 1858, 1861, 1868, and 1872 from the Vesuvius Observatory. These eruptions often included lightning activity. Ordinary thunderstorms produce lightning through ice charging as water clouds become electrified from colliding ice crystals and other hydrometers. One study suggested that the water content of volcanic plumes can be greater than that of thunderstorms. The water is initially transported as a hot vapor, which condenses to liquid in the rising column and ultimately freezes to ice if the plume cools well below freezing. Some eruptions even produce volcanic hail. Number 3. The Zhangye National Geopark. In Sunan and Linz counties within the prefecture-level city of Zhangye, in Gansu, China. It covers an area of 322 square kilometers. It is known for its colorful rock formations, it has been voted by Chinese media outlets as one of the most beautiful landforms in China. The site was also named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2009 and is the destination for many Chinese and international tourists. It is the result of the same tectonic plates responsible for creating parts of the Himalayan mountains. In 2009, Chinese National Geography magazine chose Zhangye Danjia as one of the six most beautiful landforms in China. In 2014, 100 million yuan was invested to improve the facilities in the Binggu area. Number 2. The Northern Lights. Nature's own light show is the Northern Lights in Norway to experience the unbelievable colors that move across the Arctic sky is on many travelers' bucket list, and few places on Earth offer more ways to witness the Northern Lights than Norway. Between late September and late March, Northern Norway is dark from early afternoon until late morning, and the Northern Lights frequently soar across the sky. On a very basic level, it is created from a collision between electrically charged particles from the sun that enter the atmosphere of the Earth. But even though you can't take the lights for granted it is after all a natural phenomenon just like the weather you are still guaranteed to experience magical light in northern Norway all through the polar night. In the blue hour at twilight, the landscape is bathed in a glassy deep blue color. The aurora borealis has its climax when the weather is cold and dry. Number 1. The Salar de Uyuni. It is the world's largest salt flat. It is located nearly 12,000 feet above sea level in Bolivia's southwest corner, alongside its border with Chile. The flat is remarkably well, flat, with an altitude that varies by no more than a few feet across the entire 4,086 square mile expanse. This thin layer of water transforms the area into a stunning reflection of the sky. The feeling of infinity is beautiful, but whether wet or dry, Salar do Uyuni is a dreamland for photographers. The vast expanses and relative lack of landmarks lends itself to playing with perspective in a unique way. And don't worry if you aren't an expert photographer, there are plenty of photography tips specifically designed for getting that perfect Instagram photo during your visit. To know more about rare and most beautiful events subscribe to our channel.